Hello students, I am Dr. Bhavna Sinha from Patna Women's College Autonomous. Today we are going to have a lecture on distributed systems. Distributed systems have multiple resources and hence there is a need to provide systems transparency. A resource can be a logical such as a shared file or physical such as a CPU, a node of the distributed system. Distributed systems management ensures that large distributed systems can function in accordance with the objectives of their users. One of the functions of a distributed operating system is to assign processes to the nodes, that is the resources of the distributed system, such that resource usage, response time, network congestion and scheduling overhead are optimized. System management can be categorized into resource management, process management and fault tolerance. In this lecture, we will discuss about the processor allocation in distributed system which deals with deciding which process should be assigned to which processor. Once a set of processes are assigned to a particular processor, the choice of a good scheduling algorithm will decide the order in which the processor will execute the processes. So let us see the scheduling techniques in distributed system. They are task assignment approach, load balancing approach and load sharing approach. So let us start with the task assignment approach. In task assignment approach, each processes submitted by a user for processing is viewed as a collection of related tasks and these tasks are scheduled to suitable nodes so as to improve performance. In load balancing approach, uh, all the processes submitted by the users are distributed among the nodes of the system so as to equalize the workload among the nodes. And load sharing approach which simply attempts to conserve the ability of the system to perform work by assuring that no node is idle while processes wait for being processed. So there are few desirable features of global scheduling algorithm. The first one is no a priori knowledge about the processes. In computing, scheduling is the method by which threads, processes or data flows are given access to system resources, that is processor time, communications bandwidth. This is usually done to load balance and share system resources effectively or achieve a target quality of service. Scheduling algorithms that operate based on the information about the characteristics and resource requirements of the processes pose an extra burden on the users who must provide this information while submitting their process for execution. A good process scheduling algorithm should operate with absolute no a priori knowledge about the processes to be executed. Since it places extra burden on the user to specify this information before execution. Ability to make dynamic scheduling decisions. Process assignment decisions should be dynamic. Be based on the current load of the system and not on some static policy. It is recommended that the scheduling algorithm possess the flexibility to migrate a process more than once because the initial decision of placing a process on a particular node may have to be changed after some time to adapt to the new system load. A good process scheduling algorithm should be able to take care of the dynamically changing load of the various nodes of the system. The algorithm should be flexible enough to migrate the process multiple times in case there is a change in the system load. The algorithm should be able to make quick scheduling decisions about assigning processes to processors. Similarly, in stability, the algorithm must be stable such that processes do useful work, reduce thrashing overhead and minimize the time spent in unnecessary migration of the process. For example, it may happen that node N1 and N2 both observe the node N3 is idle and then both offload a portion of their work to node N3 without being aware of the offloading decision made by the other. Now, if node N3 becomes overloaded due to the processes received from both nodes N1 and N2, then it may 
again start transferring its processes to another nodes. This entire cycle may be repeated again and again, resulting in an unstable state. This is certainly not desirable for a good scheduling algorithm. Balanced system performance and scheduling overhead. Algorithms that provide near optimal system performance with a minimum of global state information such as CPU load, gathering overhead are desirable. This is because the overhead increases as the amount of global state information collected increases. This is because the usefulness of that information is decreased due to both the aging of the information being gathered and the low scheduling frequency as a result of the cost of gathering and processing the extra information. A good scheduling algorithm should, be, uh, should not be disabled by the crash of one of more nodes of the system. It should be stable. Also, if the nodes are partitioned into two or more groups due to link failures, the algorithm should be capable of functioning properly for the nodes within a group. Algorithms that have decentralized decision-making capability and consider only available nodes in their decision-making have better fault tolerance capability. It should be scale, scalable also. A scheduling algorithm should scale well as the number of nodes increases. An algorithm that makes scheduling decisions by first inquiring the workload from all the nodes and then selecting the most lightly loaded node has poor scalability. This will work fine only when there are few nodes in the system. This is because the inquirer receives a flood of replies almost simultaneously and the time required to process the reply messages for making a node selection is too long as the number of nodes n increase. Also, the network traffic quickly consume network bandwidth. A simple approach is to probe only m of n nodes for selecting a node. So for this lecture, we will have this much only. Thank you.